our YouTube channel. It's another week, another video, and we're so glad to be back. Today's video is gonna be an IVF nighttime routine. So our first step to our nighttime routine is to have a lovely dinner, and we are gonna be using Green Chef tonight, and they are actually the sponsor of this video. So thank you so much to Green Chef. Let's go make a yummy meal. So it's now dinner time. It is 4.15 and we do have dinner really early. A lot earlier than most people. <laughs> Write in the comments what time you have dinner. So Green Chef is the newest recipe box for healthy eating. There's five dietary choices and a wide range of healthy, amazing food options that you can choose from weekly. And it's amazing for us because obviously going through IVF, we need to watch our diet and make sure we are having healthy, balanced foods that are quite easy to prepare yeah. and cook. Green Chef is honestly amazing for that. We are both vegan and Green Chef have vegan options. But if you guys aren't vegan, they also have lots of other options such as veggie, flexitarian, um, keto, low carb, loads of different options. But the main important thing is health. Let's see what's in our box. We have ingredients for three different recipes. We've got the buffalo cauliflower quinoa bowl. And this looks really good actually. Mm, that looks yummy. Then we have the one pot saffron rice. Mm. It's so good because it tells you the cook time, how many servings, the spice, and everything like your carbs, your protein. And then lastly, which I'm looking forward to the most, is the ginger shiitake mushrooms and teriyaki tofu. Mm, they all look so good. And they're really, really quick and easy to make as well, which is just perfect for our lifestyle. So we've decided to go with this recipe and then on the back we have a step-by-step -step guide. And you know what? It actually looks quite easy. Yeah, it does. I'm super excited for this one. Come, let's cook together. What's also so cool about Green Chef is everything comes pre-packaged with the exact right amount that you need for the recipe, which is just so helpful. And also kind of like less waste as well because you just have the exact amount that you need. You know what? I think we actually did quite a good job. Look at that. And look at ours. Yummy. Alright, we're going to taste it. Taste okay. test it. Mmm. Mm. That is actually really good. Mmm, that's yummy. Mm. Mm. Green Chef is such a good alternative to grocery shopping. I actually really like this. Leo, I'm actually so pleased that you are eating a good, healthy meal. It's so good that it tells us all the macros and everything to make sure you're getting enough protein and mm. everything you need for an IVF transfer. Link is in our bio for you guys to get your own. Leah, cleaning up after cooking. I am such a wife already. I know you are. And then she even fed the little doggies. Yeah. Oh, Milo's camera shy. <laughs> As soon as I put the camera on him, he ran away. Did he? Bless him. <laughs> like, no paparazzi takes money. No pap. Milo, are you scared? Mm. Now we are going on a TikTok live. We try to do this as often as we can, most evenings. Yeah. We, we? we literally love interacting with our followers. So mm -hmm. if you don't follow us on TikTok, make sure you do. It's just Caitlin and Leah with two H's. Yeah. We actually hit 6.4 million today, which is like crazy. It's mind blowing. We are so grateful for you guys. We love you all so much. Mm -hmm. And ah, we're gonna go talk to you guys on TikTok right now. Everyone say hi vlog. Say hi vlog. Thank you. Ask us okay. questions about IVF. We would love to answer. We have quite a lot of name ideas, to be honest. We have two main girl names that we really, really love. And then yeah. boys names, we're not sure. Boy names, we find are harder. Um, someone said, how much is IVF? IVF um, ranges from price, depending mm. on what sort of IVF you're doing. And like what clinic you go to as yeah. well, and like all the, what medications they yeah. use and stuff. Ours personally has been, over, it will be over 
12,000, probably more. I think it was about 16. I calculated to, it is. Did you calculate? Yeah, yeah, roughly. It is absolutely crazy. Yes. Um, we're very lucky to be in a position where we can do this and we like thank God, the universe every day like we are mm -hmm. extremely 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 lucky very very lucky um, and ours is more expensive because yeah. it's reciprocal as well so they treat they kind of treat Leah like a, a surrogate yeah as because well. I'm carrying Caitlin's just egg have extra and tests and yeah. things which like, when's our wedding our wedding mm -hmm. is in August it's not far now it's in August we just want to share this with you guys um this is a little build of her that I got Caitlin for her birthday two days ago it smells like strawberries Mm. Oh, it's so nice, but it's not just a teddy bear. It's an IVF teddy bear that speaks. It's so cute. Are you ready? Listen up, guys. Put your volume up so you hear. You're the strongest person I know, and I can't wait to start our own little family. I love you with all my heart, my little cakey bum. I mean, I love it just as much as. Caitlin loves it. It's so cute. It's very cute. It's, it's so cute. I've been sleeping with it next to us every night. And it's Caitlin's favourite colour, which is lilac. It is, indeed. And it's a bunny rabbit, because I really want one. <laughs> is that why you chose a bunny yeah. rabbit? <laughs> so it's That's got funny. meaning behind it. That's funny. And <laughs> it will be so cute to ha give our children as well. Yeah. How cute. But talking about the subject on what we're going to give our children. We have some first milestone IVF cards. So I'm not sure if we've showed this to you before. I don't think we have. I don't think we have before. So we have little ones. This is the start of my of our journey. So we're going to fill out one tonight, actually. We're going to fill out like three tonight because we haven't done a couple of them. Um, To be fair, after the appointment, after the egg retrieval, I think things are a bit too stressful to fill it out. Yeah. Um, so we're going to fill out, we're going to go back a few weeks and fill out the ones we need to. So the last one we filled out was the third stims scan. And shall we read it out to you? Yeah, let's do it. So I'll read my bit. I think that's first, isn't it? Yeah, and then so. I'll read my bit. Another day, another scan. Last night, the nurse phone said that mum's LH levels had gone down and that we needed to start on new medication and have another scan. And they reassured us that this is normal, so we kept reminding us that. The scan went really well and the eggs were maturing well. They even said egg retrieval might be Friday. We're so excited. Quick hint, wasn't Friday. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, my bit. Today we had 12 decent sized follicles, which seem to be maturing well. All seems to be improving, yay! Which means very soon you'll be out of mum's ovaries and made into an embryo. We are so excited. Another scan tomorrow, excited to see how mature you've got. So that is the last one we filled out. We actually have, the next one is trigger injection Ooh. day. Egg collection day, and then eggs we, collected. How many eggs collected? How many eggs, eggs fertilized? fertilized? And embryos. I actually already wrote seven because <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, seven. I'm gonna write that on there. And um, so we're gonna fill these these out now. Yeah. taking off our makeup okay so a lot of people are wondering what the next step is in our IVF journey oh yeah baby so the next step is a frozen embryo transfer although we're not going to be telling you the date that we are doing it who knows when it is it could be soon it could be far away it could be you never know <laughs> next year no it's it's this year but yeah we won't yeah it's the share. But that um, will be a secret. So Leah will have to when she when she's getting ready for that, she'll have to take lots of medications. Um and then we will go in um for the procedure, which she'll have to have a full bladder for, and then they put a catheter with the embryo um up her <laughs> and <laughs> place it in her uterus. And then we have to wait two weeks to find out if it works. Yeah. <laughs> 
It is bath time. We are just about to get in the bath, as you already just heard. Leah is already in the bath. Um, I'm just about to get unchanged and I'm going to be jumping in with her. We have a bath pretty much every night. We prefer baths over showers. Um, we just find them so relaxing and a great thing to do after a long day. Um, I actually couldn't have a bath for about a week. Um, after my egg collection so it's really nice to be able to have them again um yeah i'm gonna head in there and we will see you after just had a bath which was lovely and relaxing and now we're gonna blow dry our hair just chill i'll probably actually let mine um air dry and then we're gonna have a cup of tea and then we're probably gonna edit this video so and hop into bed, and hop into bed. yeah we we're not exciting people but we love how we are so it works for us, doesn't it? It definitely does. So we'll probably speak to you guys when we're having a cup of tea. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. That is one good cup of tea. How do you guys have your tea? I have mine stronger than Caitlin's. Yeah. We are now in bed and yeah, we've had a lovely nighttime routine. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below, subscribe, and all that jazz. We will see you in another video next week. Bye, Bye guys!